springtime cold fronts and man I don't know what we caught now a dozen 15 keepers and we're throwing these back <laughs> Welcome to Bassin' with Buzz Hunter and Fish. We have an encore presentation today with my guy Teddy Bradley. Now, so, your video last year, we are punching and flipping, behind you, probably the best, greatest video I came with, however, the best first video I had. Does that make any sense? I mean, my YouTube channel really took off from that moment. So I'm still, I'm screaming grateful for that. But we had really good weather that time. We knew what we were going to do. Well, you did. I mean, I, I put a beating on those fish, if you recall. Yeah, you I did. I did. I, I, I really taught you some things. Now, today, I got to question our own sanity. See, Teddy and I have been planning a fishing trip for a long time on this day. And it is, mind you, April 20th, 2019. And we decided, decided to go when we've got a massive spring cold front run through. Shall I say I began by catching a couple of fish on my 9K Elite Lures Chatterbug. I was using the bluegill color half ounce mashed up with the B and M custom bait and swim bait. First two fish came on the chatterbug. We were positioned in seven to eight foot of water casting shot. And both of those fish came out of about two feet of water. Long skinny. Huh. We'll have to keep two. Chatterbug. Not the size we need though. Well, Teddy's on the board now. That's number three. And we're about an hour and ten minutes into it. How's the size of that one compared to the ones we caught? <laughs> Okay, Teddy's got a bigger one than I do, but uh, ooh, a little bloody there. We cold front in the spring, pre spawn, eh, no big deal. Go fishing. That told me I wasn't ready, willing to wait for you. Well, that's going to be number three. Four. Four. Excuse me, I can't count. Four keepers. Two and two hours and twenty minutes in. So four keepers good. Now we'll say we got three, at least two. We really need to get rid of though. Because that is number five. Catching the last two keepers on the Loch Ness Lures uh, crawdad bait. I can't even think what you call it. The JLB craw, I think is what they call it. 
Watermelon. Well, you want to call out? You want to call out that one I just caught? Uh, maybe that skinny. Second one you caught. Yeah. Like the last one you just got. You can call that out. Hey, where'd it go? Well, we found some smaller keepers. You can tell we're just fishing them out of a channel with a little craw base. Very textbook. Fish coming in and out and getting ready. They do their thing for the springtime. But we need three or four pounders. I got a fish, just so you know. Oh! I knew you were going to do that to me. On a trap. On a trap? As the day progressed, a couple of things happened. First, the Alabama rig heated up for us. We both got a few. I catch a couple right now. Second, my bite, my glory kind of fizzled, and Teddy Bradley really took over. Things got tougher for me, I don't know why, but Teddy seemed to get stronger as the day went on, as he was catching them on a couple different baits. Look, listen, crank baits, as well as the uh, Alabama rig. Something else that happened at this point in time is that the weather got miserable. Not only did the wind continue, but the rain began at about 10 a.m. and did not stop. That beautiful thing is open. I think you'll call. We didn't win this tournament. We ended up weighing 11.51 pounds for our best fish. And I think that put us right around 10th place. And there were close to 30 boats that competed this event. So, respectable finish. Winners had slightly under 15 pounds. But more importantly than that, we certainly proved today that you can catch fish, largemouth bass, during a cold front in the springtime. These fish want to move up, spawn, and cold fronts often wreak havoc on fishermen. What really came down to is we kind of fishermen used the term it was a grind. It was a grind. We still caught 15 keepers, roughly 15, 16, 17 keepers, but nothing was jumping in the boat. We threw traditional pre spawn baits. You saw the rattle traps, you saw the chatter bugs or bladed jigs, vibrating jigs, you saw Alabama rig, and you saw some plastic crawdads. So it forced the fish in a cold front, rain, wind, and during pre spawn conditions. Put your head down. Understand you probably won't get as many bites, but often the same bites will work as they did for us at Catching Large Mouth Bass. Thank you for tuning in, tuning in and watching. Hope to see you on the water soon. Yeah.